depiction. There's a cosmic mind and individual mind. Okay. There's a beautiful description of, Brahm, of Paramatma as Sriman Narayana in Sanatana Dharma. Paramatma is resting. Resting means sleeping. Its sleep is called Yoga Nidra. In Nidra or sleep, there's no other, there's no duality. Nothing is there. So Lakshmi is Yoga Maya. So she is the Maya. He is there. She is there. She is also called Parashakti and Parabrahma. So Lakshmi is there in dormant condition. So he is called Paramatma, supreme reality, indicated by I, Parabrahma. So whenever you are speaking I, 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 you are referring, really referring to real I, but confusing with the false I. There can be only one name for anything. So if I say pen, there may be different variety of pen, but pen is only one thing which you can write. Correct? Different flavors of flower can be there, but flower is only one. Flowerliness is only one. There's only one I that's called Paramatma. Whatever name and masala you add, finally you are referring to that I only. The adding masala, I am the body, I am the mind, I am the intellect, all is your confusion. But real I always is only one. Necklace, chain, ring, all point to gold only. All eyes in everybody points to Paramatma only. So how many eyes are there? When you speak of I, you are already remembering Paramatma. So, and you are very clear about I. You may not be clear about something else. Right? You will never miss that I. How can you miss Paramatma? You can confuse Paramatma, confuse about be confused about Paramatma, but we cannot miss that I. <laughs> How can you miss your existence? How can you miss your awareness? Huh? You can confuse your existence, awareness with something else, but you cannot miss it. What is realization? Realization is getting rid of confusion. That's all. There's nothing called finding out Paramatma. <laughs> You are confusing Paramatma with Jivatma. That's all is the confusion. Get out of the confusion. And always, every time when you speak of I am, I am, I am, you are only speaking of Paramatma. That Paramatma you are confusing with body, mind, and intellect and making it as Jivatma. Jivatma is nothing but confusion. That's all. <laughs> What is realization? Real I is always there. Realization is real I. Real I always there. Huh? So, <laughs> what is there to realize? Tell me. Real I is always there. <laughs> False I also just comes and goes. One moment your wife, one moment your husband, one moment your dancer, one moment your singer. Real I is always there, no? You are always, when you say, I am, I am, I am, you are already pointing to real I. Then what is God relation? Tell me. Always you are speaking of God's name only. Then you give some other name and get confused also. <laughs> huh? So that Parabrahma is Satchit Ananda. Parabrahma. He's called Narayana. His power is called Lakshmi or Maya Shakti. She is called Yoga Maya because Paramatma is in Yoga Nidra, sleep. And from the Nabi of Paramatma, Brahma Ji will arise. And why Nabi? All birth happens in stomach only. Woman will have child in the womb only. So Paramatma's womb, what is the womb? Womb is a center of energy, Shakti. So Kriya Shakti will start moving. Yoga Maya will start moving as Kriya Shakti. So then Brahmaji becomes aware, I am Dnana Shakti. Then Icha Shakti comes, okay, let me create something. Icha Shakti, Dnana Shakti, Kriya Shakti. 
then all names and forms are born. I am body, I am Jiva will come up. Jiva and Jagat will come up. Everything is happening in consciousness only. Everything is conceptual. Creation is conceptual. In Chitta, consciousness, universal consciousness. So did you hear this whole thing? No, no. Realization means what? Real I. Whenever you speak of I, you are only speaking of real I. Next moment you are super false I. <laughs> you are doing two in one job. How many eyes can be there? Necklace, chain, ring. Ultimately, it's gold only, no? When you say necklace, it's gold. When you say chain, it's gold. When you say ring, it's gold. How many golds are there? Gold is only one. Similarly, when you say I, 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 or anybody says I, they are referring to Paramatma. Only. Then what is the relation? What do you call this relation? <laughs> relation is just, just getting rid of confusion. Realize you are mixing with the body, mind, intellect, then Jyotma. There's nothing to attain. Realize is always there. I want to get enlightened. What you are getting enlightened already, I is, you will never miss the I. Superimposition on I. I am is a pointer to I. I am is a pointer to I. And I am is Brahmaji. See, basically, from stomach of Narayana, the Kriya Shakti will move. Creating, becoming aware, Dnana Shakti will come. Oh, I am. So, from Dnana Shakti, Icha Shakti will operate. Let me create something. Kriya Shakti. Dnana Shakti, Icha Shakti is functioning as a world. Entire world and everything is appearances, concepts, nothing real. The only reality is consciousness. So what is relation? Realization means what? So concepts have become reality. Reality has to become concept. That's called relation. <laughs> I want to get attained, enlightenment. Who? Who is I? I as a man get enlightened, not possible. I as a woman get enlightened, no problem. I as a jiva get enlightened, not possible. Find the real I. There's no enlightenment, there's no liberation, no body, no moksha. <laughs> no, no, I want to become I. How will you become I? You are already that. <laughs> so Maya is dormant in the Parabrahman. Maya Shakti, what you call Maya, is dormant in Parabrahman. It's called Lakshmi. She is called Yoga Maya. She becomes manifest as Kriya Shakti first. Some movement happens. Then she becomes manifest as Dnana Shakti. I am comes. And then maybe she becomes Icha Shakti. World is projected. This is called Sattvagana, Rajogana, Tamagana. Ishwara Maya becomes manifest. So in Ishwara, there's no Avarana, there's no forgetfulness. Ishwara forgets, then gone case. <laughs> Ishwara is <only> projecting. <laughs> right? If Ishwara also becomes a forgetfulness, then the whole thing is gone. Creation. Everything is a mess. Ishwara doesn't forget. He writes some painting and erases it. Writes some painting, erases it. He does the Vikshepa. Vikshepa is Avana. Uh, uh, Vikshepa is Rajoguna. Ishwara, the Bra 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 Brahma is uh, Brahman is Satoguna, poor Satoguna. In Satoguna, Rajoguna erases. Krishna means when he says, never for a moment do I cease to work. No, no, Krishna means darkness. Krishna means dark. Darkness not visible. 
What is not visible to sense organs in the mind is called Atma. Krishna means the word Krishna literally means. So when he is saying that in the Gita, ah. that I never cease to work even for a moment. If I cease to work, creation will stop. Okay, okay. So I never stop for a moment to work. Here he says, I is Paramatma. Cease to work is Maya. Maya is unmanifest manifest. Unmanifest manifest. Unmanifest manifest. Unmanifest manifest. Moment to moment. For example, you have thoughts now. Thoughts is unmanifested. Memory. It just manifests. It will go back. Unmanifest manifest. That's a creation. So it's continuously happening. So Maya Shakti of Paramatma is continuously operating. Okay. So in Ishwara, there is no Avarna, only Vikshep. Avarna means forgetfulness is not there. Jiva is, I am comes, then body comes. Then I am, I am takes the form of body. Chidabhasa comes in, I, I am body becomes. The moment I am body, uh, identification is there. There is Avarna, forgetfulness. Vikshepa comes from the Maya Shakti. In the Maya Shakti, Jiva is a product. So Jiva has Avarna and Vikshepa. Another third set of thoughts. I am a man, I am a woman. All sorts of thoughts will come. What? So Jiva has Avarna and Vikshepa. Gnani, he has broken Avarna Shakti. Avarna is broken. He knows real I. Nanu, Nanembudu, Nanalla, Ideha, Manabuddhi, Nanalla. Sajidandatma, Shivanandani, Shivoham, Shivoham. So Gnani has broken the Avarna, forgetfulness. He realizes real I. So then he is one with Ishwara. He has no, Vikshepa will continue. Because Vikshepa has produced a body that will continue for some time. So how Gnani's body operates? Gnani's body operates not because I am the body concept. Gnani's body operates because in the presence of I am, Ishwara. Universal consciousness operates through Nani's body for the purpose of teaching or local kalyan. So now we'll say why Nani's body is there? Because of Pradha Karma, we'll say. Now Pradha Karma itself, actually I have told many times, different ways. So the very various way of understanding Pradha Karma is a car is going fast. You apply the brake. After applying the brake, car will continue to move for some time. Similarly, body is born out of Pradha, pressure of car, Pradha Karma, that is the speed. You apply the brake. Gnana is like a brake. But car will continue to move for some time. So that is Gnana's body in one way of understanding. So second way of understanding is Gnana's body is preserved by Prakriti for the purpose of teaching. Another way of understanding. So Gnana uses the body for purpose of teaching. So there's nobody called Gnana. Gnana has become one with the Ishwara. That's why Ishwara uses the body for teaching purpose. So that's why Ishwara Guru Atmeti. Ishwara himself comes in the form of Guru means that. Fourth way of understanding is the body is available in the world for many of the seekers who have to get Gnana from that. So Pradha Karma of the seekers becomes the Pradha Karma for Gnani's body. It will be there until the seekers who have to get Gnana from that body are coming. That's what happened in Krishna Ramakrishna Bhagavatam. Until Vivekananda and many Shishas came, those who are destined to receive Gnana, Ramakrishna Bhagavatam's body got dropped. So these are four ways of understanding Nani's behavior. Whichever way you like, you take it. So a simple way of understanding is Nani uses the body as a vehicle for teaching purpose. Now who is Nani? Jivatma has become one with Paramatma. That means there's nobody called Nani. It's Ishwara only operating through the body. That's why very clearly we say Ishwara Guru Atmeti. Ishwara himself comes in our Guru. There's nobody person called Nani. Universal consciousness operates through the body. So, let us understand what is liberation, mukti. So, we, we understood that I 